Ed, I can't believe I finally got a hold of you, my friend. I have been looking for you for years. The last time I saw you was on television. I know you're on CHCH. What has been going on for the last couple of years? You are definitely missed. You know you got a lot of fans that always look out for you. Well, thank you very much. Um, part of the reason that you haven't seen me, I've actually been hiding from you. But that's a different story <laughs> between you and I. Um, I, I was doing U.S. Uh, programming for the U.S. On the, on the Internet, doing digital stuff, because, uh, you know, Americans uh, somehow seem to uh, have appreciated me more than Canadian broadcasters did. But doing my own thing now with uh, Fun, the FU Network, which uh, we launched our FU politics division in, in the summer, immediately jumped into the top 20 on iTunes, then 10 days later, top five, then we were number one. And uh, seven different series, now there's 10 different series about uh, politics, and it's if you like me, you'll like these shows. Because unlike me, these shows are, the rules are going to be civil and respectful, but there also has to be a sense of humor and a sense of grounding because we lost that. Canadian media has uh, lost that sense of self-awareness, that sense of connectivity that brings the country together. It's all a bunch of mainstream operations trying to compete with online clickbait, and they can't because they have different business models. And so the whole thing is just a crap show. Um, and so that's what I've been doing. And you can find me, of course, I'm on Twitter, at Ed the Sock, on Instagram, Ed underscore the underscore Sock, got my Facebook page, uh, Ed the Sock, uh, SU Network. I'm all over the place online. You can find me if you look for me, uh, except for you, if you're looking for me personally, I'm still hiding. <laughs> well, look, my friend, do you miss the interviews we used to do? Because I know I, I, I miss doing that. I also miss what you used to do at the end of the year with your video schmas and you used to talk about those music videos and really lay it out the way it really should be, your interviews and things like that. Do you miss doing stuff? I don't miss talking to boy bands and pop stars. No, not really. Uh, I think I did my time. That's like the green, uh, you know, like like a prison term. Um, but uh, I, I do miss media, mainstream media, being honest and direct, being allowed to be honest and direct, people on it being allowed to be honest and direct. The industry has shrunk so much. People are so afraid for their job that no, nobody has the courage to have uh, to say what they really think or to uh, green light a show with someone who they really think, except for CBC's 22 Minutes, which I will say had me on two, two weeks in a row just before the holidays, uh, and they let me just be me. So uh, there's some obviously... Some people grow it in testicles uh, in the mainstream media, and that's great. But I think it's also great that we've got the online uh, opportunity. So now I don't have to deal with layers of, of broadcasters and managers. Uh, I'm, the, I'm the manager, and, uh, which is kind of scary because I have people working under me now. Uh, but, you know, I'm enjoying doing that. I'm thrilled to be involved with the, uh, uh, the Electric Circus experience, where we're uh, taking the uh, Canada's you know, original national dance show that everybody around the country would watch TV and dance to the TV. And uh, Monty D. Old was the original host. Uh, we're bringing it back as a uh, multi-camera, multi-platform uh, program, totally updated. But Monica is coming back out of semi-seclusion semi to be the host. And me and Rick Campanelli will be there doing DJ-type throws. There'll be a new speaker's corner, retro dance party. Uh, CNC Music Factory's performing, The Real Boys performing, and uh, I'm just glad to be able to be bringing all that that back, that that energy, because the world is so dark now. Someone needs to be shining a flashlight, and that's us. And uh, this EC uh, experience is the beginning of what people will see. From we did FU politics for fun, the FU network. We're moving into FU music as well, so it'll be sort of a spiritual successor to what much music was when it was good. How has this all come about? You know, so many people keep talking about uh, Electric Circus. In fact, uh, there are pictures of Drake wearing the Electric Circus T-shirt. I mean, it was iconic. How did you guys bring this back together, and how can we be involved with this? Well, it was, it was, it was a, I mean, a promoter. It was his idea uh, named Remo Palladini, uh, 90snostalgia.ca, by the way, which is where you get – uh, 90s with 90 as opposed to spelled out 90s, 90s nostalgia .ca. Um, you, you, how do you get involved? Well, it's going to be a national tour. Um, so it's going to be coming to cities across the country, but the kickoff party, you're welcome to come. 
It's uh, January 25th. It's coming weekend at a place called Her Night Club uh, in Mississauga. And uh, it's going to be one hell of a party. So if you're not there, you're missing the rebirth of retro. This is, this is retro reimagined. And uh, we're not just trying to redo what was done before. We're taking what, what was good from before. And, uh, yeah, and then we're, uh, we're, we're rebuilding it. Sorry, I was distracted there because there's a guy I'm driving and there's a guy there who's doing his tonics. <laughs> well, look, I don't want to, you know, get you into a car accident. Nobody blames me. You killed Ed the Sock for being on the phone with him. So I'm going to let you go, but I want to make sure fans know again, the kickoff is happening where, when, and when we get the tickets. Uh, the kickoff is uh, this Saturday, Saturday, January 25th at Her Night Club, 1325 Eglinton Avenue. Tickets, 90snostalgia.ca. And now i got to go because the cops just pulled me over. <laughs>